Antarctica. A vast, remote wilderness. This inhospitable continent has been a natural laboratory for a group of British scientists for more than 50 years. They started out working in timber huts, but now they have a new home. Halley 6 is the latest incarnation of Britain's remotest research station. Almost no day goes past that I don't look at a picture of Halley and feel a sense of incredible pride and achievement. Halley 6 is a series of eight modules that can be detached and individually towed across the ice. That's essential for its future survival, given the Brunt ice shelf on which it sits is flowing towards the sea at a rate of 400 metres a year. Built on hydraulic legs, the modules can be raised to cope with Antarctica's sometimes hostile weather. The building project was an ambitious one, taking four years to complete. The construction team could only work in the summer months because of the severity of the Antarctic winters. From a, a personal perspective, Halley 6 has been a life-changing project for me. I think when you work on a project like this, it, it gives you the confidence to realise you can do things that you really didn't think you could do before. For me, this project is all about people. People who passionately and enthusiastically work together for over five years to create Halley 6 on the ice, taking the dreams and aspirations of all those involved and turning them into reality. Over the years, scientists have accumulated a large amount of data from Antarctica. Research into climate change and space weather now form a major part of the work done here. It was at the Halley station that British scientists first discovered the hole in the ozone layer. The, the new Halley station is absolutely brilliant for measuring ozone. We've got a special observation deck which both gives us good all-round views of the weather coming in, but more importantly, it's a much easier place to do the ozone measurements. The, the wonderful thing about the science at Halley is that we've got these really long-term data sets that have been going on since the 50s, and so they're just becoming more and more valuable the longer we keep them going, the more patterns we can see and the more chances there will be for us to make discoveries, especially now that Antarctica um, that changes are taking place down there and it's a really important place for us to carry on studying. Halley 6 is both a living and working environment. Up to 50 personnel could be deployed here. They won't just be scientists. Technicians, medical staff and chefs will also work here. Collaborations have already been established with other teams from the international polar science community. Right now, the atmosphere is being measured from lots of places around the world and Halley is part of that effort and it's a fantastic place to measure because the atmosphere there is so clean we can see really tiny changes in the concentrations of the gases and that means that we get a sense of how the atmosphere is changing as the world's population continues to grow. With its iconic profile Halley 6 is a testament to the ingenuity of British design and engineering. The new generation of scientists based here will continue conducting groundbreaking research, enhancing our understanding of not just this continent, but the planet too. This is the start of an exciting new chapter in Halley's science. <laughs>